Previously on Until Dawn. After spreading more clues and a syphilitic whore would spread syphilis, Josh decides to unveil himself as the mastermind behind the jigsaw puzzles. His personality and mannerisms immediately go from 0 to 10 on the batshit insane scale. This causes Mike to have horrifying flashbacks to the awful television that was punked, and he does to Josh what he only wishes he could do to Ashton Kutcher. As a result, Josh immediately begins laying his groundwork for his insanity plea. Miraculously, Emily manages to express a moment of concern for Matt, conveniently forgetting how much of a she was to him only moments earlier. Karma's a bitch, and it's chasing you down with a flamethrower. Now you're all caught up. Oh dear. Yep, I made the wrong call, which is going to result in your death. Hey guys, this is See What? And what the fuck is that? It's like a... What the fuck is going on? Okie dokie. Things just took an interesting turn. Hey guys, this is See What? And I am playing with myself. You're watching Lights Out. And this is part eight in my ongoing playthrough of Until Dawn. Welcome to Halloween week. What the fuck was that creature? So... Definitely confirmed. Some kind of really creepy, shadowy creature. So there are supernatural forces in play. It's not just Josh and the guy with the flamethrower. There's more going on. So, where did we previously leave off? Josh has been revealed to be the killer and got bashed in the face by Chris and he's been knocked unconscious and left with Matt uh, and left with Mike. Mike has then told Chris to go back up to the lodge where I assume Ashley and Sam are waiting. Uh, not sure where Matt is at this stage. I'm guessing the creature that was dragging Matt down the mine previously when Matt shot it with a flare gun was one of those fucking shadowy creatures I just saw because I'm guessing there's more than one. Totem. Fortune Totem. Apparently Mike shouldn't shoot someone, I think. So whatever these creatures are, they don't like light. I'm guessing that's why that guy's wielding a flamethrower and why he threw down a bag of flares to help Emily. So apparently he's not a bad guy. Uh, he's here to help, maybe? Would potentially explain the prologue when he was reaching down to grab Hannah and Beth. Oh, oh no. Uh, when he was when he was reaching down to grab Hannah and Beth, and then they fell to their deaths. He may have actually been reaching down to help. Oh dear. Do they just not like the light, or do they not like flame? Oh god! Jesus Christ! Ah, uh, Jesus! Oh, oh my god, that was so close. Was not ready for a quick time event. Oh god, keep going, Emily, keep going. I got you, baby. Oh, shit! So they're not shadow creatures, they're some kind of deformed... Um, um, um... Go left. Surface. Oh my god, what the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> okay, go Emily, go, go, go. Surface elevator, surface elevator. And up we go, 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 up we go. Come on. So they're not shadowy creatures, they're some kind of deformed weird creatures with elongated limbs. Um... Whew. That scared the shit out of me. Uh... Uh, what? Hello? Don't move, 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 don't move. Don't move. 
Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, chains. Use the chains for something. Pull something down. There we go. Jesus. That explains the thermal vision. Oh, that was close. Fuck me. I'm... I'm just... I gotta really focus on these. I am not good. Oh, God. Didn't I see a totem of you, like, exploding at some point? I think that was one of the first totems I found. Maybe that's if I don't time it correctly, or maybe... Anytime she's near flame, I get paranoid. Same with, uh... Um, leap off. Why did I leap off? I should have kept going. Why, why was this my choice? All I did is just delay myself. Oh, okay, okay. Um, pop a flare. He said use them. Shit, move it. Move away from the wood that it could easily reach through. Uh, oh my god. You've been bit. No! Oh crap. Oh, I'm so sorry, Emily. I was not on the ball on that one. You, the lodge. You're almost there. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Come on, Emily. I don't like you, but I want everyone to survive. Oh. You got bit. I'm hoping this isn't some kind of werewolf thing where you're going to turn as well. Because that would not bode well for everyone else. Go, Emily! Emily! Go, girl. Maybe after all this, you won't be bitchy anymore. Crap. What now? Oh, shit is kicking off. Let her in quick. Yeah, let her in. And then lock the fucking door. Shut the door, oh my god, shut the door! Em are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. You looked yeah. And you would have been too if you'd been in the same situation. Fuck! Yeah, where is Matt? Yeah, wait, a monster. I'd be confused. I said there's something out there. Like a goddamn monster, she fucking said. What happened? She has been telling you. Listen. Although, you have to admit, she doesn't really sell the story very well. She kind of rambles a bit. Oh my god, with you people. It was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. What? Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in I'm on Emily's side for once. There was a radio and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Um Oh. oh shit, you better hope Matt doesn't walk in right now or he's gonna be like, you motherfuckers, what you doing? Don't put monster in quotations, you fuckface. This is the ghost situation all over again. Oh, it couldn't possibly be a ghost! It's Jess. If you say it's not someone, it's gonna be that person. Oh, it'll be the, it'll be the doctor. Oh no, it's the guy with the flamethrower. What the fuck is he doing? How did he get up here so quick? Like, Emily sprinted. I'll cover the door. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. Ready? Don't shoot him. Ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. <laughs> Unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. <laughs> I got the gun. I'm gonna keep the gun. Although Chris wasn't too bad with the shotgun. <laughs> In the face! Hold on there. This guy's friendly, maybe. He saved Emily. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, showing their age. Couple of teens disarmed by a master. Okay. Y'all listen up now, you hear? Yeah, I've been fucking saying that since the first part. Who in their right 
fucking mind would return to the mountain where two of their friends died the previous year. Not only return, but on the fucking anniversary. I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. You yeah. hear? Belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Wendigos! What? Wendigo. That's awesome! I've never seen Wendigos used in like popular fiction. I'm only gonna tell you this once. Besides supernatural. It doesn't matter to me. That is awesome. I got research. That's oh that's a bit why like, the miners, because the miners were cannibals and they turned into Wendigo. Oh this is awesome. Boom! Alright, so does that mean there's... The 12 miners survive... The 12 Wendigos? Ooh. Huh. So, apparently as Mike, I saw more than I remembered seeing. Until dawn! Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard something. Mm. Where did you leave him? Um. Shed. Uh, he's probably on his own. Will already be dead. Yeah, I'm kind of with this guy. Um, yeah, the door was wide open. Anything could have gotten him. On this yeah. No, I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What? What do you mean? <laughs> I uh I beat him in the face with a two by four. He uh I didn't. he insinuated things about me and Ashley. And, and I didn't like it. I hit him in the head. I'm blue balling hard, man. No matter what, we can't just let him die. And I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. This guy's Yeah you do. God, the fuck the ego on you. This guy has been living on this mountain for at least a year surviving against these things. But hey, no, that's cool. You're a teenager. You know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. You, you're balls on you. Damn straight, Chris. If I'm going to be controlling you, you are going to be like dick to ass on this guy. You are going to be living inside of his fucking colon. I will have you so close behind this guy and you will do everything that he says because I want people to live. I'm doing too well now to let it end badly. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. <laughs> so, what, were you watching oh. us when uh, I was Sam and Chris and I was shooting at the targets? Because he did an alright job. Oh. Now you got incentive to live, Chris. Screw this! I'm gonna live. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's uh, what, what, what's the guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Yeah, I'm gonna do exactly that. So uh, I'm not even gonna look for totems. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, That's right. Right behind the guy. Come on. These fucking controls. Jesus. Oh, stop being a fucking smartass and listen to the guy. Eh. So they're kind of like the shadow creatures in uh, Alan Wake. Like. Nope, not falling for it, not right. splitting off. I am staying right behind this guy. I mean, fuck. Actually, I wish Chris could actually speed this up a little bit, because this guy is a limp and he's fucking pulling away from me. I, was, I wasn't joking, Chris. Dick to ass. Get right up there. Uh, I didn't ask. I just shot at him.
Okay. So it's like the T-Rex in Jurassic Park. So I should file that away for future, I'm guessing. Okay, gotcha. So last resort. Ooh. Ooh, the question is, did the Wendigo get to him or did he escape? Because I would have thought if the Wendigo got to him, his corpse would be there? But would he have left blood if he'd have just escaped? I guess it depends how he got out of whatever they tied him up with. Okie dokie. Yeah, we're gonna listen to this guy. Fuck Josh. Josh is on his own now. We're going back to the lodge and we're gonna survive as a group, alright? I didn't want to kill Josh, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to save him after this shit. This isn't a murderer anymore. This is goddamn crazy ass creatures that we need to escape. Why the fuck aren't I moving? Okay. Come on, speed it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go back in there to look for... Ooh. Oh god, that's moving too far to the left. Oh, thank fuck. Ah. Uh, aren't we running towards it? Jesus. Oh, I want a flamethrower. Oh. Oh, that's not good. He was my hero. You were supposed to. <laughs> you were the chosen one. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, I should have shot the tank. I should have shot the tank on his back. Run, 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 run. I'm going to fucking die, aren't I? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Quick time events. All right. Oh. Uh, sh shoot it! Jesus. Even trying to fucking aim with the right thumbstick is a ball ache. Oh, come on, Chris. Don't be a pussy at this stage. You rolled your ankle. Who cares? Keep running. Oh. Run! These things are fucking everywhere and they immediately get up. Oh, God. Was that shot too late? Or... Move! Or stay still. Okay, no, we're moving. We're moving. Open the fucking door. Lock it. And then run away because that's... What's going to stop them just jumping in through glass? Run! Run! What? That thing was just jumping at the door and then it just disappeared? I can't believe I survived that. And I can't believe that guy's dead. Oh no, that's Josh. Ooh. Oh my god, thank god. What took you so long? Not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? He's dead. Uh, yeah, he, um... he didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Took his head clean off. The guy survives for over 12 months, then you throw a couple of teens into the mix, and he dies within like two minutes. I'm not saying it's our fault, but uh, it's our fault. Until dawn! I am going to do that every time they say until dawn. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Yeah, well, she called for them. Don't leave, Mike, please. Josh, Everyone needs to stay together, and you Josh. need to be the reasonable one. Josh is gone. Right. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then, we shit out of luck. It did. Mike You're shit out of luck. Stay where you are. It may have taken him down to the mines. What? Oh. I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think are you serious? Lives, and are we going to go hunting for... A fucking key in the mines rather than just 
wait out a couple of hours get until dawn? Oh, fuck sake, Mike. You're supposed to be the reasonable one. And what is all that? So that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> Wasn't I thought I was prepared for anything? <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Wait, how did they get his bag? Oh, did he leave it with them before him and Chris went? It's horrible. You were? There have been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Yeah! See, I keep figuring things out, like, five minutes before the characters themselves explain it to the other characters. So I'm all like, oh yeah, I'm so smart for figuring this out. And then a character says it, like, five minutes later, and I'm like, oh, I, I guess you're supposed to figure it out at this point. Whoa. Or to fed? Focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. How is it that Emily is being the more reasonable person at the moment? She's a fucking. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium. See? That's how I got back here. Okay, that explains that because I was fucking wondering that when he just randomly showed up in the underground with um, Sam. Um, what is? Huh? What is that? Oh my god, are you serious? Are we going to turn it into that fucking situation? It's Wendigos, not werewolves. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, it's not... Wendigos aren't transferred by a bite at all. You become a Wendigo by eating someone else, not by being eaten. Jesus Christ. It, oh, this is going to turn into a nice little thing of everyone fucking going up against each other, isn't it? Calm the fuck down, Ashley. When did you become a fucking specialist on Wendigo? It said when you eat someone, not when it eats you. No, you stick together. There's nothing indicating that her being bitten is going to turn her into a Wendigo. At worst case, if you're worried, you just isolate her a little from the group. You don't kick her out. This is what happens when I miss one fucking button. Fuck you, Chris. You don't get a vote. Fucking mob mentality going on here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yeah, because that sounds feel better super about voluntary. sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with. Okay, oh my God, will you just go, go get out of here? Shut the fuck up, Ashley. Oh no. Mike, calm down. Ooh, okay. So, I'm guessing... Oh, no, yes, this is the death totem where Emily got shot in the face. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I've seen this in a death totem. No, don't do that! I'm really sorry. No. 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 I'm pretty sure that's not how Wendigos work. That was the right call based on the totems. I'm pretty sure it was a guidance totem. Keep an eye on there is no evidence that she's going to become a Wendigo. Weird. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Don't leave, Mike. You guys got to. St yeah, you tell. You tell them no one leave, but then you fucking go off on your. Oh, you moron! And you don't even take the gun. You need it more than they do. Jesus. What part of stick together do you people not understand? I see you walking your way over towards where the gun is. I thought that that he was going to help us with a flamethrower, dude. Now we don't have a chance. Oh, yep, see? Oh, yeah, no. I'm going to read a book, but actually I'm sneaking over to steal the gun. Fuck you, Ashley. See, but now I'm in control of you and I'm not going to let you do it. Ooh, journal. Heed these words or it shall be your death. This guy's a little OCD. Fucking shut up and let me read. There's a lot of history to this. Can I get more than two sentences in without you interrupting me? Fuck. Because 
the Wendigos are mutated from humans. When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. That's not creepy at all. Don't reach for the gun because of what you read here. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. Well, that explains the, uh, the trap that Mike cut his fingers off in. Oh dear, Cree legend says that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I've been bitten, I did not change in any way to state the flesh and all. There is no other way. Ha! So look, even the guy got bitten and he didn't change. You have to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Oh. Knew it. Oh no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? Yeah. What does it say? That's right. You feel guilty as fuck. And you should. Oh, no, you don't. You don't get to hide this. Fuck you. You have to be honest. It says that... The bite is harmless. It's not infectious. It doesn't See? do anything. There I'm we go. Sorry, I'm sorry, what did you say? Yeah, that's right. Um, get mad. It says you'll be okay. I'd be pissed as all hell. Damn straight. Whoa, careful. She's backed up to the gun right now. I'm sorry. I'm like, I didn't know what was going to happen. There's none of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. I'm kind of with Emily on this because you had no fucking evidence that that was the case, but you just went, oh, holy shit. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. That's the line of the game. Ooh, trophy. What, what, what? Why? Why? You could provide me with a little of information before you leave the room. Will someone pick up the gun? Oh, Joshua. Oh. I thought we were done with you because we didn't have you at the end of the last part, did we? I don't know which is worse. Actively Wait. Triggering okay, then this is definitely inside of your head because, um... There's no way you could be with this guy right now, considering you'd been dragged away by a Wendigo. And I'm pretty sure a psychiatrist wouldn't be this fucking brutal with someone. Remember last year? Huh? I bet Josh killed him. How the fuck is that? What? He was passed out. He wasn't even awake. Okay, where are we? Well, where's Josh? What is going on? I'm pretty sure that's just the cold. You know, it is a mountain and it is presumably winter. Joshua, why did you hurt them? Um... Well, I'm not going to deny it, so I'm just going to have to roll with it. They hurt me? But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake. I mean, it's a, it's a fucking bitchy reason, but denying it's even more bitchy. See, that's true. What they did was fucking messed up and a dumb prank. But still. Be sorry, Josh. Try and get some redemption. Try and be better. What isolation? Stop being cryptic! 